Welcome to challenge number one. This is the very first challenge in the course and we're excited. We're here. We're ready to go. So just as a reminder, in each challenge overview, you'll be in the role of a Salesforce professional at the fictional Universal Containers company. I'm going to tell you a short story about the business challenge that Universal Containers needs help with, and we'll practice what's called the discovery process inside the tech industry where we learn about the requirements of the business or the needs that they have for this solution. So on to our story. You work as a Salesforce admin for Universal Containers, the biggest and best container shipping company in the Salesforce universe. Their slogan is firstest with the mostest. You work from home and your typical day might involve logging into the company's Salesforce environment and solving IT support cases submitted by users. In our challenge, it's Monday morning, you're coming back to work after a long three-day weekend, and you're feeling totally refreshed and ready to start your week. Your manager's name is Marissa. Marissa sends you a message on chat asking you to handle a recent support case submitted by the sales team. The sales team uses a custom field on the lead object called potential value. Right now, this field isn't mapped to anything when a lead is converted. The sales team wants the potential value field from the lead to map to the amount field on the converted opportunity. Marissa tried using the standard lead mapping to take care of this uh, case real quick, but the potential value field wasn't available to map over using the standard lead mapping. She wants to know, can you build something in Salesforce to solve this request? You think you know exactly how to fix this, and that's with a Salesforce flow. That's the end of the story. So. I'm going to put up a, a quick um, summary slide here. And what we're doing is we're going to use a custom field to set the converted opportunity amount. And so inside Salesforce, when you have a lead record and you convert the lead, that's what you do. You convert leads into accounts and opportunities and contacts. When you convert the lead record, some of the data from the lead automatically flows over to the opportunity. And that's what we're doing here. The problem is that the standard lead conversion or the lead mapping for the fields isn't working. And I'll show you what that looks like inside the UI so you can really understand the problem. And the challenge is, can we work around this limitation and get something working for the sales team? Of course, the answer is yes, and we'll get started in the next video. And so let's just do a final recap. What we're going to do next in our next video is go through some of the challenge free work. We're going to create a custom lead on the or custom field on the lead object. And then we're going to also create that field on the opportunity object. We'll try to map the two together so you can kind of understand the problem better. Once we understand the problem, we'll then build a before save flow to handle the problem. And finally, we'll get back together and we'll review the lessons learned.